Hello everyone. Today we are gonna look into homemade ultraviolet disinfectant system. My name is Aniket Pratap. Uh, prior to this video, I have made a video on uh, do-it-yourself ultraviolet sanitization system. However, this is an earlier prototype, and in this earlier prototype, what I have done that I have used a Arduino microcontroller, which uh, you know senses the presence of closed door and uh, and also you know looks into the power consumption and make sure like uh, this system to not misbehave or there is no other safety risk or anything but uh, i received many comments in my comment box uh, stating that this is a complicated one and only people who can use microcontroller and ir sensors can make this so in this video uh, i'm going to do it very simple there will be no automation and no technical background is required anyone who know how to fix a tube light can potentially make this uh, system work so in today's before going into today's system uh, let's look into what is the principle of operation of uh, ultraviolet sanitization system or ultraviolet disinfectant system so as you know that this is the uh, you know is, is spectrum of light or of electromagnetic radiation known to mankind out of this spectrum we are going to use ultraviolet radiation this ultraviolet radiation have three part uva uvb and uvc the uvc is something which is germicidal in nature or that is it is uh, that radiation which can kill the uh, microorganism uvc further is divided into three more part uvc far uvc and uh, vacuum uvc or vacuum far uvc so any wavelength of electromagnetic spectrum which is less than 280 nanometer uh, causes germicidal effect and uh, any wavelength which is less than uh, 220 nanometer also causes germicidal effect but it does not harm any human being between 280 to uh, 200 it causes germicidal effect so how it works is that when electromagnetic radiation this uvc radiation falls on the dna of microorganism which are exposed to uvc light uh, it penetrates through their cell wall and disrupt the structure of the genetic element like dna and rna uh, basically prohibiting uh, reproduction of the microorganisms so once the uv radiation fall on the dna of these microorganism they cannot reproduce and eventually die uh, there is a link of uh, the detailed description about the principle of operation here uh, which you can go and check um so we will look into the method of testing the effectiveness of uvc light and basically we will uh, see the effect of uv ultraviolet radiation on a banana so this will also help us in understanding uh, like how we can you know calibrate whether the uv light which we are using are of uh, any help to us or not or if they are original or not so what i have done that i have taken a banana and i have put a black tape here this is a simple black electrical tape which you can find on any electrical shop uh, then i have exposed it to ultraviolet radiation uh, this is a box which we will be making and i have put a banana right now here and these are the ultraviolet radiation which will go over this banana exposing this surface and not exposing the taped surface and it will look something like this uh, there is a small video which you can see i have darkened the light and these are the ultraviolet radiation which are going on the banana and if these ultraviolet lights are real and if they really emit uh, uv radiation what they will do that they will uh, you know uh, accelerate the ripening of the banana and in the end the banana will look something like this so the area which got black is the area where it is exposed to uvc and this area is not exposed so this is still green in color so overall uh, this is the effect of ultraviolet light on banana Th that was a green banana uh, exposed on these area here and here here and here on the with the uvc uh, this is the area which is shielded with the help of tape and then i have exposed them with ultraviolet radiation uh, after after 7 minute of exposure with a uh, 44 watts of uvc radiation you can see this is how it looks like there 
you can see these are some of the dead cells here and if you keep the banana like this uh, it will become something like this it will ripen more so but uh, you know i just want to you know comment out one thing here is that uh, exposure has only been done once for 7 minute and uh, just after 7 minute this was the uh, condition and the same banana without any exposure uh, is now like this like the, after this stage there is no other exposure it is like this and after 2 hours you can see that it has become more black so overall uh, area of banana which is exposed with uvc radiation turns black uh, so it's very simple to make it does not require any you know complicated circuit or any microcontroller and all all it has is a choke coil like these are the choke coils uh, a thin plywood over which uh, i have mounted these four uh, uvc lights or these are the same lights which are inside any water purifier and this is a space for material and this is a suitcase to you know contain all these things inside and there is no there should not be any leakage of the radiation so the working is very simple like we have taken electricity put it in a leak proof germicidal mechanism uh, the germicidal mechanisms are these uh, tubes these are you can see these are uh, philips tuv 11 watts ultraviolet c tubes these you can get on amazon i'll even give the link of these tubes uh, in the description then these are the choke which are required to run these uh, lights this is a sun mica or a small sheet or you can even use a plastic sheet to hold them so i've used a plastic tie to you know uh, just hold them here you can also use the same this is a suitcase you can use any of the old suitcase not necessary it has to be hard it just should contain the light inside it these are all the materials on which we are thinking germs are there so germs on the materials are here in this cavity then i'll close this and uh, start it and the system will give me out disinfected material which is our basic purpose so whenever you come from outside you can keep all your materials here and close this uh, box you know uh, expose this uh, all the material for 10 to 20 minutes and with 44 wattage 10 to 20 minutes are good enough uh, in order to get into how we calculate the exposure time there is one more video which uh, whose link uh, is here you can go and check that out as well so this is a small video which uh, will show us how we can you know use this box so this is a box the overall box here i am keeping all the materials here he's my son make sure when you are using these there's no kid near near it the, this is to be done only in the presence of like, and when the kid has gone i just to show you that how the uv light looks like this is how the uv light looks like and then i've exposed it for you know 20 minutes and after 20 minutes you can reuse these materials so the advantage is you need not to you know spray any disinfectant or any other thing you can uh, pretty much put everything inside and uh use it so that's the basic uh, product uh thank you for watching this and don't forget to subscribe like and comment on the video and yeah make sure that uh no radiation is getting leaked outside even not for demonstration purpose as i have done here